story about a man who's been teaching in Maryland for 75 years consecutively. His family believes that accomplishment in itself should be officially acknowledged. Tonight, 11 News reporter Deborah Weiner explains why. When Roosevelt was president and a loaf of bread cost about eight cents, Paul Miller began teaching. It was 1934 and he has been teaching math ever since. If I stop, I'll rush the fart. <laughs> At age 93, Miller teaches calculus at Baltimore's Nair Israel High School. Fitting given this level of math focuses on infinite series. And he has been teaching for 75 years consecutively, 75, in private and public schools at all levels from elementary to college, while at the same time teaching 51 years at this school. He just keeps on going and going, um, learning more new tricks and more new things to teach his, his kids. So this is equal to one third. It's believed Miller has instructed thousands of Maryland students with his trademark stress-free mellow style. If your father had Mr. Miller, raise your hand. Wow. If your grandfather had Mr. Miller, raise your hand. I think it definitely shows that uh, Mr. Miller has remained steady for many, many years through well, not one generation, two generations, but three. I'm just in, in awe that he's able to do this. Paul Miller is the son of Lithuanian immigrants. His mother was illiterate, his father an indentured servant and self-taught math genius. When Paul first began teaching, pre-Xerox, he made copies with a jelly graph and rode the trolley to school. He recalls an invention that changed so much. People lined up at Hutzler's, one downstairs, they had a special sale on Reynolds fountain pens. They were cylinders about this high and its point and it had ink forever. A ballpoint pen, and you weren't allowed to bring that to school. Three quarters of a century as a teacher, and yet Miller has never been officially recognized. It's not going to affect our lives one way or the other. It would just be really nice for his grandchildren to be able to appreciate uh, having a grandfather who did this remarkable achievement. He, he loved his work. So the Miller children are going for the record books. They've obtained their father's social security documents, although he started teaching even before social security was created. In this letter to Guinness World Records, they make the case for longest career as an accredited teacher, 75 years. But Guinness continues to recognize a Brazilian woman who started teaching at age 12, Medardo de Jesus Leon, and her teaching career that lasted 96 years, they say. With humor, Paul is okay with that. Look, I'm already in a book of records. I'm in the telephone book, so I need, but who needs it? He feels like he's the wealthiest man in the world, and he's always taught us that a wealthy man is happy with his lot in life. A lot that includes 15 grandchildren and so many others he has raised on math. I'd like to go on for a long time, who knows? Paul Miller believes deeply that a man who loves his job will never work a day in his life. Extraordinary when you consider he has taught an estimated 27,000 days in his life. Deborah Weiner, WBAL, TV 11 News. Well, Mr. Miller has taught at Southern High School, the former City High School, Hopkins, Loyola, Essex, Catonsville Community College, and others. And apparently calling out sick was and remains a very rare thing for him to do. Now, your 11 inch to weather plus forecast. With nice to follow the 